Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Wars. I think there's something wrong with me because I just, nah. I think there's something wrong with me because, you know, eating some cereal and I opened the dishwasher to put in my dishes and I got really upset because what I was putting in wouldn't fit and I look down and I see a, and I see a, just a box of Honey Nut Cheerios crammed into the dishwasher section for plates and I mean, that's kind of strange. And I realized I just had a brain fart because, ah, all oh, bad, 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 buddy. So he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he has to be dead. Dude, you're dead. I don't know what you're doing to you, but you're dead. Yeah, I was just about to kill that guy. I was about to, I was about to get out. I'm gonna kill this guy. Where's the guy? Huh? Huh? Is that him? Oh, he just. Well, he's dead. Oh, I got the kill. That's cool. Anyway, um, brain fart or not. Well, okay, I think that is not a good start to the video. Whatever, today we're going to be talking about the time where I got toilet paper from the psychic chicken. Yes, this video is not clickbait, this literally happened. I got a PvP, I got a PvP for the first time, this is my first round of the day, I got a PvP. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm insane. Okay, anyway, so I was invited to a birthday party from my friend, because I have friends. And I was going, you know, you were going to this little arcade, but the arcade had a laser tag and other stuff that was useless, such as a ropes course that we didn't end up going on and a virtual reality with Beat Saber. If you guys know what Beat Saber is, then that's cool. If you don't know what it is, it's kind of like, I don't want to explain it, actually. Just look it up and give use to other people. Oh, I'm so good. I just sniped that guy twice. Anyway. So we we're going into the we're going to, so as you know actually I'm gonna start out this way as you probably know most arcade games are scams and I was trying to find a game that wasn't a scam because I actually wanted to win something at an arcade for once in my life and I came across this game that had toilet paper as prizes it's one of the claw machines and if you know anything if you know anything in life it's that claw machines are scams. They're the biggest scams on the earth. They give you nothing. They let go of your prize. Has nothing. Is that guy no armor? They let go of your prize. They're awful. They're really terrible, and they never give you the gift for whatever reason. Like the claw is too weak, or whatever. You there, buddy? Oh, <sighs> this is kind of sad. I'm gonna be honest. Whatever. Anyway, I found a vending machine where. A vending machine. I found a claw machine that gives toilet paper. And this is not the kind of toilet paper you wipe your rear with. This is the type of toilet paper that you sleep with at night, that you cuddle. And it's like this plushy roll that has the oo oo kawaii face on it with a little blush underneath the cheek so it kind of looks like it loves you. But not in that weird way. It's kind of like it's your son. So I kind of, you know, I really wanted to adopt that toilet paper roll. I'm going to be honest. That was kind of my life goal at the time. I really just wanted to be a father of toilet paper. Oh, that was a good perk. Oh, I'm good. Don't even question my skill, ever, because of that play. And I was like, I need this. But if you guys know anything about life, then you know claw machines are a scam. And I already kind of mentioned this, but I'm going to say it again. Claw machines are scams. They always find some way to scam you. And I emphasize the word scam here, because this thing is a scam. This was no exception. Anyway, uh, so the, the thing that made this even more worth it was that this toilet paper had a pun on it. Yep, a pun. It said, this is how I roll. You get it? Because it's a toilet paper roll. And so I was like, oh my god, a pun. Toilet paper roll. I need this in my life. Like, there's nothing that I could want more than a toilet paper roll with a pun on it. And I'll try to pull up a picture of it for you guys. But I'm not even going to answer if I got it or not. Okay, bye, 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 bye. I'm winning this game. A general rule of thumb in life is that when something has a pun on it, you just kind of gotta get it, because otherwise you're just not living your life to the fullest, and that's just sad. So when I saw this toilet paper roll with such an ingenious pun on the side, I thought, damn, I gotta get it or else I'm not living my life to the fullest. So after doing the claw machine strat, which if you guys don't know, there is a somewhat way to improve your chance. Like, claw machines are scams, you're not gonna win anything regardless. But if you want to have any sort of shot, the best way to do it, I would give, I rec recommend, is to just look on both axes and you just kind of, you make sure that it's positioned correctly. What I'm saying is like, when you go on both sides, you can actually make sure if your thing is positioned in the correct way. Okay, 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 buddy. 
Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so good. Okay, that never, that never happened. Anyway. So, I made sure the claw machine was positioned correctly before I actually did it, or else I'd be dumb. And so, yeah, I, I went for it. And you know what this claw machine did? So, I grabbed it, and I, I my reasoning, with my reason, my, like, claw machine positioning was perfect. Oh! This guy wouldn't beat a claw machine if I asked him for it. Okay, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. So, my claw machine strat was actually perfect. I... 100% positioned it correctly, but you know what happened? So the claw machine, it grabbed, it grabbed the toilet paper roll, and I was like, yes, yes, this is so easy. I'm so good. It even picked it up. It literally had the guts to pick it up. Oh my god. And you know what it did afterwards? It just let go. It just straight up, it picked it up it, into the air near the collection slot, and it just let go. It did nothing. Yeah, so... I legitimately hated this claw machine, and I wasted more money on it, because, like, if it happened once, it's got to happen again, right? And I did it again, and I was hoping to actually succeed this time, and you know what happened? Guess what happened? It picked it up again, because I'm just so good. And then it dropped it. It was perfectly in its clutches, and then it dropped it. And I don't understand why this is a thing, because it should not be a thing. But I know that these claw machine designers were just thinking, what's another way we can scam children? And they decided, hey, let's just drop it if they pick it up. That way they can't win. And this continued for about five rounds of claw machine. And I just kept wasting my money throwing it into it because you're not living unless you have that pun toilet paper to sleep with at night to fuel your depression. Ah! Oh, God. I'm kind of you know, messing up in this video. Anyway, regardless of depression, I think that it's important to note that I had, this is not my money, this is my friend's mom's money, and I was beginning to feel actually guilty that I was just wasting it all on this obvious scam. But then, the impossible happened. It didn't drop it. It picked it up, and it just, you know, actually delivered it. And that was the day I won the toilet paper. Oh, me. bye. Oh! Get out of here. So, yeah. I think that worked pretty well. I got the toilet paper. One. But one wasn't enough. And you know what I did? I went again. Because one time wasn't enough. I needed a second toilet paper roll. Because there was this one toilet paper roll. It wasn't an uwu face. It had a mustache on it. And you know, when something has a pun stash, you're not getting it. If you're not getting it, you're not living your life for the fullest. So I decided I'm going to get a second toilet paper roll so I can have two sons. And yeah, that's what I decided to do. Except I ran out of money. I wasted all of my money. Instead of playing like the VR or with any other games with my friends, I decided, no, I'm going to waste all my money on toilet paper. And that's what I did. And I went and did that. And I only won one. So that was kind of sad. Oh, no. So where does the psychic chicken play into this, you might be asking? Because that's what you all came to see this video for, the psychic chicken. And then one of my friends saw the psychic chicken. The Psychic Chicken was a machine that, you know, you put in, like, your money and it gave you an egg with a gift in it. So, my friend decided to do the Psychic Chicken. I don't even remember this fortune, but that part's irrelevant. What I do remember is the toy. The toy was horrific. It was some pitiful excuse for a dog, I think. It was, a yellow, it was a white circle with a dog's face painted on the side, and it was just the most scary thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, you have no idea. There was a tiny tail on one side. So, this man has, like, a foldable disc dog, and, like, if you squish the dog, it turns into a disc, is what I mean, and it just becomes flat as hell. And I decided, well, my friend decided, actually, I wish I could take credit for this genius idea. Mm -hmm. My friend decided, hey, let's stuff the dog into the air hockey slot, like where the puck goes after you score a point, like where you have to go to score a point. And for whatever reason, they decided this was like, they determined that this was a good idea, this was a good use of time, because why not? Who, who, who legitimately does not want to stick their dog into an air hockey table? And so after my friends determined that this is what they wanted to do to with the rest of their lives, and they were warned by my friend's mom that it was a bad idea, because obviously I'm sure the owners of the machine would not be would not take kindly to people sticking dogs inside their hot air hockey table. 
but you know everyone has their own preference in life and my friends wanted to this guy's reach just there's no way there's no way this guy's legit no way no way no way get out of here and yeah so he stuck the dog in and guess what happened it got stuck so I'm gonna be honest I kind of saw this coming because what do you expect when you stick a dog into a air hockey table it gets stuck of course and now we have a stuck dog and the puck gets stuck on it because they were still playing they didn't notice that they had a freaking dog inside their game and they were like oh when the puck just decided hey I'm not coming out what is this guy doing you're bad dead Any last words? Bye. So, what did we do now? Well, of course, we called the manager. And the manager of the thing was like, Oh, ho, 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 you idiot. Nah. He was just like, Oh, well, that's no problem. He even gave us a free air hockey round after he fixed it. But the important part of the story is that he fixed it. And what did he find when he fixed it? Well, we said we got our card stuck in there because my friend also just had to put their like card down with all the credits, which was dumb, and he got stuck on the puck. So, you know, that's cool. But my friend said, oh, my card's in there. And he's like, okay, let me try to get it out. And when he got it out, you know what was there as well? A second card. And so now the manager didn't know that we didn't have a second card. He assumed that was our card. And he's like, these two cards are yours? And my friend, being the savage he is, he said yes, even though clearly one of them was not our card. And so, what did we have? What happened? What happened? We got our card, and my friend decided uh, he'll give it to me because I was the only one that didn't support putting a dog into the hockey table. And I got the card, and guess what I did? I went into the psych chicken machine. Because that's what any sane person would do after they just uh, receive a gift for animal abuse. Oh my god, I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm insane. Anyway, regardless. Uh, so, I went to the toilet paper machine, and guess what? Ah! Die. Guess what? I won. I won another toilet paper. That's two toilet paper rolls from this machine. And I just felt so accomplished. It was the same one, actually. It was just another uwu one. But that's not the point. The point is, I won two toilet paper rolls from the claw machine. Of course, it took another three tries before the scam actually decided to not be scammy. But it picked it up, it dropped it in the tray, and I just felt so good that I finally got that sweet, sweet uh, toilet paper roll that I've been wanting my whole life, that I've been yearning for. Dude, this kid's just pissing me off. Who'd bridge is like this? Oh, ha! Well, I mean, I guess that's karma. Thanks for watching. Bye, peace!